Good morning. I'm Mason Gilmore. And I'm Taylor Hall. Today on the December 13th edition of the Win News, we will have feature on the girls basketball team. As well as a Christmas question of the week. exam schedule is out on Tuesday 1st, 3rd, 5th, and 7th periods. We'll be taking exams. The next day exams will be in periods 2, 4, 8, and 9. Lunch will be from 12.05 to 12.35 each day. Also next week, 5th grade will be Christmas caroling on the nurse, at the nursing home on Wednesday at 8.45 a.m. Congratulations to Ms. Leslie Graham for winning the UIL Sponsors Excellence Award for her hard work and countless hours spent making our UIL program so successful. We also want to congratulate Brooke Rice, Ryan Wilson, and Sergio Quintana and Emily Strinsky for their auditions into the all-regional band. Brooke received second alternate on trombone to the concert band. Emily placed second chair on trumpet symphonic band and was first alternate to area. And Sergio placed second chair to the honor band and advanced to the area band. He will go to area auditions in January while he will be competing for a chair in the all-state band. With the holiday season upon us, it's more important than ever to be careful driving. Hey man, you need a ride? Oh yeah, that would be great man. Yeah, come on, pop it. Oh, alright. Hey bro, you want some snacks? No, I'm good bro. Bro, grab the real? Oh yeah, I got you. Oh God! What is it? Where's his brother at? I don't know where he's at. Why is Billy taking so long? Applying to text takes your eyes off the road for at least five seconds. Text them later. It's better than never. Each year, 15,000 lives are saved in the U.S. by seatbelts. Just put your seatbelt on. Not your life on the line. Approximately nine people are killed in the U.S. every day in a car wreck that involves a distracted driver. You should jam out in a party not in a car wreck. Reaching for an object increases the chance to get in a car wreck by eight times. Eat later, not while driving. His family won't surprise him. He will. You're responsible for everyone in the car. That's a good reminder. Yes, it is. Junior high students competed in the district UIL meet on Wednesday at Winthorst. For seventh grade editorial writing, Jada Bogart placed second and Malaya Jones fourth. Mass Draft and Charts, Sam Maktoff placed third, and the team of Sam, Brooke Smith, and Malaya Jones placed second in ready writing. Kimberly Greer placed fourth and Sam Maktoff fifth. In Pratu speak speaking, Kimberly Greer placed fourth. Oral reading, Adeline Harvey placed fourth and Brooke Smith fifth. And listening skills, Malaya Jones placed fifth, and the team of Malaya, Sam Maktoff, and Colin Cox placed second. In science, Abby Anderson placed fifth. Finally, in seventh grade, number since Court Miller placed sixth, and the team of Court, Sam Maktoff, Adeline Harvey placed third. In eighth grade editorial, Brindley Skelton won first and Lauren Connor fifth. Science, Coe Stovall won first, and the team of Cole Chase Curry, Brianna Howard placed second. Number since Cole Stovall placed third, Maps, Grass, and Charts. Chase Curry placed fifth. The team placed third with Chase, J.C. Holly, Lake, and Cagle. Dictionary skills, the team of Cassie Marine, Danica Jones, J.C. Holly placed third. Calculator team of Chase Curry, Lauren Connor, and Jocelyn Watson placed third. And now we have Cat Hand in the weather. Even though it's almost Christmas and the weather doesn't really feel like it, today we are going to see warmer weather with a high of 64 and a low of 37. Tomorrow we will stay in the 60s with a high of 61 and a low of 38. 
and on Sunday the high will be 68 and a low of 36. So enjoy the warm weather if you're, if you're out Christmas shopping. That's it for your three-day forecast. Thanks, Kat. Last week's journalism students competed in the Context UIL journalism meet. Congratulations to Brianna Howard for placing fourth in copy editing, Emily Strinsky for placing sixth, and Tessa Brooks for placing ninth. Sarah Kyle got first place in news writing, Candace Taggart placed sixth, and Emily Strinsky got seventh. In feature writing, Emily Strinsky got seventh place. For editorial writing, Emily Strinsky placed fourth. Kelsey Altman placed sixth, and Cadence Huffman placed eighth. And Tessa Brooks got first place in headlight, headline writing. Congratulations to all those who placed. Our Wildcat of the Week is fourth grader Millie Mayo. Mayo. Mrs. Stafford wanted to recognize her for being so helpful to her daughter. It's always great to hear about those now. Here's the qu Christmas question of the week. This is Cameron Cox with a feature on Christmas questions. What is your favorite Christmas movie? The original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The Polar Express. Terminator. Probably Elf or The Grinch. Polar Express. Charlie Brown Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? I wanted a new phone, but my parents told me I'm a spoiled brat. A Happy Meal from McDonald's. A kiss. I want Tom Holland to love me. <laughs> a chinchilla named Enchilada. A catfish. <laughs> now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cameron. I'm ready for Christmas break. Me too. Now here is Bailey Grant with the sports news. The JV and varsity boys are continuing to play in the Jacksboro Attorney t today and tomorrow. The Lady Cats are preparing for district to start next week. Here is Wade Drennan with more information on the varsity girls basketball team. What are your goals for this season? Our goals for this season is to make the playoffs and to win every district game. What are some strengths and weaknesses? Our strengths are that we have tall posts and that we have uh, quick guards. Our weaknesses are that uh, we need to slow down the offense and set up place. How do you prepare for the basketball games? We listen to fun, good music with our fish, Gilbert. How do you feel about the season so far? I feel pretty confident about our team. I feel like we're going to make it really far this season. How do you feel about this being your last year of basketball? Since it's my last year, I just want to create as many lasting memories as I can, win as many games, and see where that takes us. How do you feel about the upcoming district games? We just need to prepare for every game and try our best. I'm back to you in the studio. Thanks, Wade. The JV and Varsity will host City View today starting at 5. The Junior High girls will have a basketball tournament tomorrow in Olney. So good luck, ladies. Thanks. That's it for this week's edition of the Wind News. Good luck on your finals and have a merry, merry Christmas.